Hi there. What I'd like to examine today is the concept of inertia. And it's essentially the resistance of a body to changing its state of motion. So if something's sitting there, how much inertia it has determines how much it's going to stay just sitting there or if it will start moving. And if it's moving, will it continue moving in a straight line at the same velocity? Now usually we don't really talk about inertia when we uh, talk about an object. We talk about its mass. That's what we can measure. And what we're going to take a look at today is how two objects that have the same volume but very different masses react to having a, a force applied to them. So one of these milk jugs is empty and so it has a mass of a few grams and the other one is full of water so it has a mass of about four kilograms or so. Uh, for comparison, I have a mass of about roughly 100 kilograms. Yeah, I gotta work on that. I realize that. But let's see how each of these milk jugs react when they have a particular force applied to them. So here's our empty low mass jug and let's take a look at it in terms of Newton's second law, F equals MA. We're gonna say that F stays about the same for all these cases, and the M here is really small, so to compensate the A has to get really big. Yeah, this is a big A. And A here is acceleration, and we see what happens when we apply the force to the, the jug in this case. Well, if you see here the jug, it, it does actually split uh, at one point, but most of what happens is it just flies off the screen really fast. If you look in the other case, here the, the M is really big, so the A has to get really small. All right, so small acceleration means it's pretty much going to sit there and the blade's going to do its job. So we'll see what happens here. And you know, once again, application of Newton's second law, and because of the large inertia of the full jug, uh, we get a very different result.